Sunday. I'm so glad to see you guys have joined us today. Last week, we had a really fun time celebrating Valentine's Day. And today, I think we're going to keep that whole love theme going on. And I'm pretty sure our postcard from Tony will be all about that idea. So I'm going to go check my mailbox real quick. And you enjoy some time worshiping God and how amazing and awesome he is. And I'll see you soon. Hey everybody, Chef Tony here. On my wonderful trips around the world. As I finish my trip in Israel, I'm reminded about the story of a Samaritan man. Man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he fell into the hands of robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, they beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road when he saw the man. He passed by on the other side. So to a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came to where the man was. And when he saw him, he took pity on him and took him and got him bandaged his wounds and poured oil and wine. He put the man in his own donkey and took him to an inn to be cared for. The next day, he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and then I will return and reimburse you for all the extra expense you have. This story was from the Gospel of Luke, and it just makes me wonder how many nice people there still are in the world. Would you stop and help a stranger like the Samaritan did? Well... I should get going. I have many things to do along my trips. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. So that really was.
was a cool postcard from Tony, huh, guys? Can you imagine what it would have been like to live in a world where people didn't like you based off where you were from or who your parents were? The Samaritans and the, the Israelites lived that way. The Israelites couldn't stand the Samaritans. They thought they weren't good enough because the Samaritans were really mostly people who, when, the, when Israel was split and they got pushed out, think Nehemiah, think the story of Esther, and they're not home, think Daniel. Uh, these are the guys that got to stay. And they married local people and that weren't Jewish and, and things like that. And it's a little more complicated than that. But the Israelites did not think well of them. <coughs> because they didn't just stay with other people of the tribes of Israel. Again, a little more complicated than that. More ethnic groups going on. Don't have time for a big history lesson. But the people did not like each other. And they didn't want to do anything with each other. It was such a big deal that when Jesus actually went to Samaria, which I think we'll talk about in a handful of weeks, the disciples wanted him to walk all the way around it instead of going straight through. Even though it would add so much time to their trip. Because that's just, they didn't want to deal with Samaritans. But the story Jesus tells shows that the Samaritan is the one that shows love. So that question I asked you a bit of a go, a bit of a trick question. Because unfortunately, we do live in a world like that. There are people who cannot stand others based off the color of their skin or what they believe or what they do or what they wear or just... Even things even more arbitrary than those already very arbitrary and ridiculous things. The fact of the matter is, Jesus is teaching us to love our neighbors as ourselves. To love people, no matter where they're from, who they are. We are supposed to love each other. We're supposed to care for each other. And that means being respectful, that means being kind, that means helping each other. So I want you guys to think about this week. What are ways you can show love? What are things you can do in your real day-to-day -day life that shows that love that Jesus calls us to live? Because I know you can do it and it'll be so special. Hi guys, it's Nikon. Today's Bible point is God wants us to be good neighbors. Um, in Matthew 23, 37-40, um, Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets sang on these, onto these two commandments. Um, being a good neighbor means not harming others. A good neighbor is trustworthy and inclusive. And a good neighbor is always generous and cares for us. So next time you see a neighbor, make sure you send them a card and thank them. We're going to sing Amazing Grace. It should be a song that almost everyone knows. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound I saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to feel, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that 
Hello everyone, it's Brittany, and this week's summary verse is Luke 10, 27, and it says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. So what this is basically telling us is that in order for us, we have to love God with all that we are, and we also have to love our neighbor as ourselves, which is basically saying, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And Let's take like um, a deep um, look into this last part of the Bible verse. It says, love your neighbor as yourself. So this is um, referring to everybody in general. The people that you like, the people that you don't like, people that you don't, uh, how do you say it? The people that you don't get along with. You have to love everybody uh, as you love yourself. Because if you, there's a saying that if you don't love your neighbor you don't love god because as we mentioned in last week's um memory verse we talked about how we love because god loved us first and this is um somewhat related to this week's Bible verse because it's talking about love and how we need to love the lord our god with all that we are and we also have to love our neighbors not only our best friends or our cousins or any family members we have to love the people that that we don't get along with, the people that um, treat us badly, we still have to love them because lo- God loved us first. And because God loved us, he died on the cross for us. And um, I hope you guys take this memory, I mean, this yeah, this memory verse to um, heart and you um, meditate on it or like think about it, think more about its meaning and um, share it with somebody. Share it with maybe your mom, your cousin, your sibling, your your parents your anybody and i don't know this is just something very this is something that we should um, continue to do every day we have to love god 
with everything with everything that we are and we have to love our neighbor as ourselves so i hope you guys have a wonderful week and before we end i would like to pray for each and every one of us dear heavenly father i thank you for this wonderful day that you have provided for us i'm thankful that um through this we are able to teach um people who will hear um, the word about you and everything and i pray for everybody's well-being and their physical and mental health and their spiritual health as well and that um we may be the ones to plant the seed for those who don't know you that much um i pray that um this um bible verse will help the people um get a better understanding and um of you and what we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to love you with all that we are and we're supposed to love our neighbors as well thank you for this very beautiful day in jesus name amen goodbye small but my god is big i might be small